dnes máme to požehnání vám představit jednu z těchto osvícených přednášek pod názvem Vzpomínejte na mistrini s absolutní vírou a oddaností. Část první ze dvou. V pořadu mezi mistriní a žáky. Přednášeno v angličtině 5. února 2019 na Tajvanu, známém také jako Formóza. Who's going? Uh, how many? Stand up. Whoever go today, stand up. Come here. But just lend me money. Come back here. Hey, trả lại nha. Tiền lời, nha. Okay. Interest. Yeah. <coughs> Interest. Chúng mình chỉ mới chẳng có dấu quan chưa. Lý sĩ. Lý sĩ là ít cơ đó, ít cơ lý sĩ. You do good. It's benefit yourself. All right. Thank you very much. Anyone who has not. Anyone who has not uh, yesterday or the day before has not the red envelope? All of you have? Mấy ông nói tao? Ôi dồi dồi, thái hậu ùa lại lờ. Cô làm cua niền, mấy nã tao không bao xuân sở một cua niền. She said she did not have it. Some people were working, you know, and they did not come on time or busy in the kitchen or busy guarding you know yesterday i called the guard chúa thiên xúa quay the nơi cờ chúa thiên xúa quay the công chúa nói hiện tao lại mà xúa yêu xúa yêu à nơi cờ quay mình về yêu lại ha ok đây là đây rồi cô này mà ông quản ông mình quan mình nè cứ cứ đi lại chính chủ ok i just asked him whether or not yesterday everybody came even the big gate door guardian is a New Year, I don't have to work so hard. <coughs> Taiwan is very safe, mostly safe. Hmm? Okay, because the government take good care. Poor people also have uh, subsidies, yeah. Hmm. And uh, it's uh, not difficult to find job in Taiwan, and uh, the payment is good. When I pass by the street and. Like yesterday, I went into the shop to see what I can buy to to give it to the big group, you know. So I I bought these, uh, you know, happy fruit. <laughs> but it's a small shop, you know, on the side is very small shop. Only that. Normally, I don't go anywhere. If I don't have to, I don't go. I minimize flying now that I could stay here now. I don't fly that much anymore. Minimize CO2. Hmm? Minimize environmental uh, unfavorable effect. Yeah, I don't like go anywhere normally. <laughs> Very homey, just because of for the world I travel a lot before to do lecture and seeing people and all that. Otherwise, nowadays I retired from traveling. <laughs> It's good for me. <laughs> okay. Where is your husband? Oh, here, yeah. Thank you for taking care of my two hot heads, yeah. <laughs> but they are very good heart inside. Head may be a little hard, but because I'm not nearby. <laughs> but they are very, very good people, very faithful. My family are all like that. Yeah, my 
older sister the same, younger sister the same, my knees the same, yeah, and my other knees, and they're all the same. Yeah, good family, good lineage of family. How why are you crying? Huh? What? You miss your mom? Oh. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, my love. I'm sorry about that. Still miss your mom? Yeah. You also need? Don't go me, you chai mascara. Chai head makeup. Ah, makeup will run in the way. If you make me cry, I cannot just stay here, camera. <laughs> here I cannot cry a lot. I cry at home, okay? If I need to cry, mostly I control in the public. I cry at home. Because the mascara run out, another good video, not good looking. <laughs> and then you go home and say, Oh, is that my master? <laughs> it doesn't look like. <laughs> Normally, it look very, you know, oh, beautiful makeup, well kept. Why today is a, a, a black line running down? <laughs> Lipstick go to the nose, why? <laughs> okay. All right, whoever are going, I wish you a nice, smooth trip. And God always be with you wherever you go. And whoever stay, you're welcome. It's your home. You stay as long as your visa permit. Okay? Here we can accommodate maybe around 1,000 more or less. So you may stay as long as you can afford. Okay? Right. But uh, the reason I made the New Year earlier so that the Taiwanese or Chinese they can go home, Vietnamese can go home to reunite with their family because New Year for them is important. Just for other people, maybe not your New Year, then you can stay as long as you like. Uh, if you don't have a lot of uh, obligation at home, like work, time, children, kids, <laughs> family, you can stay, okay? Do not make uh, trouble for yourself, because of, if you stay long without, without consider your family, then you might have trouble when you come back, that's all, okay? But you can always come back, anytime. It's open now. We fix some of the system, and at least 1,000 can be here. Yeah. It's not because of the space, because the space we can put up a tent, yeah? It's just the hygiene system. It's been too old, you know, and now we have to repair them all in order to use safely so that the neighbor will not be affected and the land will not be affected. Okay? That is all. Otherwise, it's your home. You come, go, come, go. <laughs> Any question before you go? No. no. Wow! <laughs> Good! <laughs> no question. <laughs> that means you enlightened, more enlightened than, than the day before. <laughs> oh, last year, okay. Yes, I guess you are. Mm. Many of you are. You relax, brother. <laughs> you work all year already. It's okay. It's only me and your master, <laughs> your family member. Yesterday, no, the day before, I was in Sihu, yeah? Because of the new year, we cannot accommodate so many thousands here, so we had to still use it. So I went there and I checked out, by the way, you know, I had the message from uh, heaven and I checked out from the original heavens, yeah? I checked out. I'm curious myself also, you know, which group has more enlightened disciples? <laughs> Guess which group? Which group? I don't hear nothing. Which group? No, I don't mean in our group. I mean different schools in the world. Your group? Wow. Who else? Which group? Master group? There are many masters in the world, tell me. Ah, she says it's our group. Anyone else have an idea? (laughs) 
Anyone else? No. Okay. Yeah, it's our group. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised too, because in many other countries, other countries, they have different groups, also practice uh, light and sound, yeah? Inner heaven, light and sound. And they're older than our group, yeah? I am new <laughs> in the market. <laughs> but our group surpassed all of them, all of them, in numbers of fifth-level saints. One thousand something. <laughs> About one thousand two hundred something. I wish it could be more, not wow. Mm. That's very little for my liking. <laughs> you know, your master very big. <laughs> she likes things big. <laughs> a lot of lot of lot. And the next runner up. It's the eldest one, you know. I mean, in the, I think it's the eldest one that we know of. That's known. That's most well known. Okay, runner up, is a nine hundred zero nine. So we are about a few hundred above that eldest and most trusted and most crowded group. Understand? Yes, most crowded. Group not necessarily mean have the most enlightened disciples, but I was also surprised because the more people mean the more choice, right? But but I'm surprised it's less, yeah. And uh, all the group are younger, you know, not young like our group, but younger. Also more or less, you know, uh, nine hundred a little less, and then. Uh, a hundred, a six hundred, and five hundred, four hundred. I'm very surprised. These are older than our group, more established, you know, more well known, more kind of trusted. Yeah, I'm, I was surprised for myself. I don't want to name these groups, okay? Yeah, I don't want to name it. Of course, it's just for your info. Hmm? And we have a lot, a lot of fourth level, a lot. I did not count too many, okay? I did not count. And then third level is also a lot, a lot. <laughs> a second level, some. Astral level, some. Hell level, also, some. Regretfully, <laughs> I still did not climb up yet. <laughs> it's very difficult when you are from the hell level, understand? Uh, very difficult to to get up, but it's okay. It's okay. They will, huh? At least they will not go back to hell. <laughs> that is, if they did not do anything bad, yeah, against people or against master or against you guys, yeah. Then they surely will never go back to hell. It's not because the master or anybody judge you or heaven punish you. It's just the law of this universe, okay? The Maya, they make excuse all the time to try to catch you back. They don't want to lose any of you. The Maya system never want to lose anyone. So imagine if the whole world is gone, then what, whom can he control? Who would he have fun to torture, to punish, and to trick, and to make trouble? And nobody will entertain them with their punishment, with their uh, suffering kind of system. Mm? They don't want that. Therefore, if you are a meditation practitioner in the Quanning Method, okay, I'm talking about us only. I can't just take care of every other kind of method. I'm talking about us only, so that you know, because it's. It's no use talking about somebody else, right? All you need is just about us, yeah, about yourself. So for you yourself, if you want to really be away from Maya, then you must keep the five precepts. Don't tell lies, also meaning you don't gossip. 
because gossiping is not always true. You just hear somebody say that, or even if you see something or you hear something personally, you might not hear it right. Yeah, in their college, they experience that, you know. The first person, you know, in the university, one person say one word, up to the fifty, it's a different word. Sometimes you talk even to your wife, your kid, your father, mother, they don't understand you. Yeah? In my practice, I always have to do this. I say something, blah, 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 and then I say, repeat. <laughs> repeat to me what you heard. And sometimes they repeat differently, three times, until I really <laughs> had it. And I say, okay, okay, go, I get somebody else. <laughs> really, it's like that. Sometimes you see something, but it's not the same. And uh, many people also told me that uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he married again and etc., etc. I said, no matter what he did, he, he was a prophet. Yeah? Peace be upon him, he did what he has to do. It's maybe it's their karma that made him have to do that. Maybe he has to sacrifice for that. Maybe that's the way he has to go through. It's the price he has to pay. So there's no need, if you believe in the Master, the teaching is good, you have good experience in heaven, then you just follow that Master. Do not let your mind cheat you, do not let your eyes delude you, do not let your ears confuse you. That's why we don't use the ears to, to meditate. That's why we don't use the eyes to meditate. We don't use anything at all. <laughs> we just contact direct inside. Anything that relies on the outside is perishable, it's changeable. Huh? Some they have, some they don't have. Yeah? Even if you use your mind, what if you are in an unconscious situation where your mind cannot control? And if you use breathing, for example, well, that, that may be helping, but what if you are not breathing anymore in that state, you know, like in coma or something, that people keep you in with the artificial breathing, what then? Who meditate for you, okay? So only your soul inside meditates, not your body. Therefore, even when you meditate, you see you're gone away from your body, you see your body sitting there, but you go to heaven. It's a, just an example. So who is it that meditating while your soul gone out, it is yourself, your true original self. There are some yogi; they don't even breathe. Yeah, they practice to control their breathing, so they don't even breathe anymore for some time, very, very long time, many weeks or months even, depends on how long he practiced. So if we rely on any external things, uh, bodily help, we don't get anywhere. That's why the Buddha said, if you rely on forms, if you rely on sound, if you rely on a visual, visual faculty, for example, huh? then you never get to see the Buddha. What he means is the Buddha nature. <laughs> That's why he even say, I am the finger who point to the moon, but the finger is not the moon. If the Buddha's finger is not the goal, not the real thing, uh, what about us, this, uh, you know, mortal, lowly level body? So we use nothing. That's why. And one of the Zen masters say what? Oh, now I know. It would have been better if I had been blind, deaf, in the beginning. Blind, deaf, and dumb even, in the beginning, that's what he said. Because these things don't help us with anything, they just make more trouble. See a nice woman, oh, want to, <laughs> want to see more, yeah? And we're more than seeing. And then see a nice, good-looking man, oh, look at that muscle, my God. <laughs> yeah, for example, huh? and see beautiful things, one this, one that, nice house, nice car. How long will you keep them? Hmm? Everything is temporary, 
Yeah, we can enjoy them, use them, okay, just like at home you watch some movies, yeah, or you play toys with the children, because they are toys, they're children. When you play with the children, you don't say, eh, I'm adult, I don't play with this, these are just toys, plastic. No, you don't do that, of course. So the saints and sages, they came to us in this world, they play with us. Yeah, they do what we do, so that we can feel closer, intimate relationship, and not feeling like, oh, he's up there, you know, and I'm just here, I'm sinful, I'm lowly, I'm just a mortal, ignorant, I can never be liberated, I can never be anything more than just my ignorant self. So any master who came from higher level, they hide everything. They just look like ordinary people. They even get married, have children, and whatever they do, they got a job, yeah? They make money to take care of their family, everybody, the same. But they are not the same. Therefore, I told the Muslim, don't criticize the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Do not criticize anything, because you don't understand anything, <laughs> not yet. If you do understand, you wouldn't have asked that question to begin with, for example, like that. In some of the teaching of some masters, uh, one master said to the Muslim, if your master, your master is God, your master is number one, if you, you know your master is really a real master, then even he, if he tell you to dip your prayer mat in the wine, you do it. For the Muslim, the prayer mat is very holy, sacred, personal, and wine is a no-no. Ah. So he said to such extreme to advise the doubtful disciple of Muslim that if your master tell you to dip your prayer mat in the wine, you do it. This is the advice for absolute faith and devotion. Only if we have that absolute faith and devotion, then we can really understand the Master and we reach higher levels, return to our glorious, great, original Self. Otherwise, we are so deluded here. We think everything is us, the ego is us, <laughs> the house is mine, the car is mine, oh, that's all we know. But these are not permanent anyway, even if the car is yours, how long will you keep it? The best car will last maybe for 30 years, hmm? or 40, 50, and then some car lasts not even three years, <laughs> four years, <laughs> it depends on what car, yeah. We all know that, but we, for us, very difficult to remember. Every day we catch up with things, you know, we're caught in, in the maze of of the world, working, you know, family, competition at job. And, oh, this is a very pitiful situation. But we have to. What else can we do? Hmm? That is the karma that the Master cannot erase. And can maybe reduce a little bit, but cannot. You know why? If I take away all that karma, you're gone. <laughs> you die, okay? Yeah. But you still have affinity with the world, with your family members, with the, you know, the boss, whatever job you do. Because of that, Master has to leave it. The present fixed karma. He can be reduced, can make it smoother, you know, like you die in a dream, you lose your leg, your arm in a dream, but you don't lose it in reality, that's all. Okay, for example, like that. Otherwise, if you have no more karma, you cannot be here. The same, the master has to borrow karma to stay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, the master came with that, without any karma. But the master doesn't need it. Disciple will be happily lending a lot <laughs> with no interest. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy that you understand. I'm proud of you if you understand. If you do not understand, then you will, slowly, okay? In the classroom, there are always different students. Some understand quickly, some are top of the class, top ten, some are lower than top ten. 
but they will be okay. They'll be okay, yes. At lo as long as they stay in the class and try their best, they will be co-educated. <laughs> and they will get maybe a certificate so that they can get a good job outside. Maybe not the top job, but some job, so they can earn money, take care of themselves, and take care of family, yeah? At least when they go out, they say, yeah, I graduate high school, okay? Yeah, and uh, what great... <coughs> I, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Maybe not intelligent enough to remember, <laughs> but still I was in high school, right? Yes, for that you will be accounted for, hmm? for the higher uh, dimension. Just like the story, a Hindu story, one guy, he was having karma, he did not have any master. But one day somehow he happened to see the master and then the master told him he's going to die. <laughs> what good news. I say, but if you go up there uh, and the, uh, the karma council asks you, you still have a little bit of good merit because you helped me today a little bit. So if the council karma asks you, you want to enjoy your good deed uh, karma first or you want to pay the bad karma first, you say, I want the good deed first. Okay, so the, the guy remember that. When he died in heaven, uh, some council of karma asked him, and he said, I want the good deeds karma first. And then because of that, he has been able to go into a so-called class in heaven, see that master again, listen to his discourse, earn more good karma, and then <laughs> go up and up and up. Just one time, even. Yeah. And you have seen your master maybe a lot, <laughs> you have listened to a lot of good discourse and you have helped the world, helped master to help the world, I'm sure you will not be cast lower than heavens, okay? Remember, yeah, wherever you go, remember your master, okay? Yeah. Maybe your master is not the top one, but I don't know who else to recommend to you. <laughs> so you stick with me for now. <laughs> if you find some better, please tell me. <laughs> so we can be rescued together. <laughs> In case you do fine, okay? Don't hide it from your poor master, okay, huh? Yeah, at least I taught you something. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> if you find something better, you must tell me. Remember me, okay? <laughs> All right then. <laughs> now, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going back to work, okay? okay? Maybe from tomorrow I have to be in retreat for a while, yeah? But you stay here, be in retreat with me, okay? If I can, I come out. If I cannot, then you're also in retreat with me. Understand that? I have to, I have to. But before retreat, I had to work a lot, you know, to, to prepare for when I'm not there. And when I come back, <laughs> I catch up a lot also. So I have to go back, do some more work. I worked a lot last night already, but, you know, I had to do some meditation afterward. Then because you're going today, some of you and my relatives are going, I came out and have a look. Okay, uh, no matter what, I, I'm right next to you, okay, nearby. Physically, I mean, okay? All right.